we've got a big update, a huge update on our favorite interstellar object. It could be the biggest update in the solar system. Take a look at this. That means that if it's a natural comet, there should be a very massive cloud of gas around it. Uh, and uh, we are starting to get now new images uh, of 3i Atlas. And uh, if it were a familiar comet with the characteristics of a comet where it sheds uh, dust and, and gas, that dust and gas should have been swept backwards away from the sun by the solar radiation and the solar wind. Uh, however, uh, those images that were just released today, they don't show a cometary tail. They just so show a, a blob of light, a fuzz of light around it, the way we saw when it was far away from the sun. And so the question is, what is this object? Why is it <laughs> behaving so differently than uh, solar system comets? The last time we talked about it, 3i Atlas went behind the sun. Then all of a sudden, it got brighter, then it got bluer, and then it started to go faster, showing non-gravitational acceleration. This had already defied what typical comets would do. Well, now we just got new images of it. On November 5th, 2025, NASA finally released fresh images of 3i Atlas emerging from its journey around the sun after repeated pressure from Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and the astronomy community. And to add even more strangeness to the 3i Atlas saga, because I don't want to overhype this, but yes, that's a comet, supposedly, that's what NASA wants you to believe, but it does not have a noticeable cometary tail. Aren't comets supposed to have tails? Ladies and gentlemen, the 3i Atlas mystery has just deepened. Let's dive into it. The idea was that when 3i Atlas went behind the sun, the natural explanation for the non-gravitational acceleration might be that it burned off a large amount of volatile chemicals, and that evaporation would act like thrust, around 13% of its mass, and we would expect to see a large cometary tail as a result. But these images show no tail. So what is going on? The surprising thing is that, based on what we know about comets, there should have been a very massive cloud of gas and dust around it. However, the newly released images do not show a cometary tail. Instead, the object still appears simply as a diffuse, fuzzy glow, just as it did when it was far from the sun. For comparison, images taken of a known comet, Comet Lemon, by the same telescope just two days earlier clearly show a well-defined tail. 3i Atlas does not resemble that at all. This leaves open the question of why it behaves so differently from typical comets in our solar system. Even after passing perihelion, heated by about 770 watts per square meter, and even though earlier observations showed that the previous plume was mostly carbon dioxide, which sublimates at a much lower temperature than water ice, we still expected to see it break up, or at least disintegrate into a dense and extended cloud of gas and dust. That material should then have been pushed away from the sun by solar radiation and the solar wind. But we are not seeing that. So the question is, what is happening? One possibility is that what evaporates from it are very small fragments of ice that get vaporized by sunlight before they have time to be pushed outward and form a visible plume or tail. That is one potential interpretation. But beyond that, there is no clear explanation. The object also became bluer than before and brighter by a factor of five. So there are simply aspects of this object that we do not currently understand. That is what makes it exciting. We will be receiving more data in the coming weeks, and on December 19th, six days before Christmas, it will be at its closest approach to Earth. Hopefully, we do not receive any unwanted gifts for the holidays. Or maybe the gift will be something friendly and enlightening and help us understand the universe better. We will see. There is no certainty here. We were expecting a tail. A natural explanation was given. Now, with no tail, we are left with something unknown. It is like a blind date with an interstellar object that formed in an environment completely foreign to us. The primary question is whether it is natural or technological. If it is natural, what kind of environment produces something like this, and how common is that environment? It could be sending large objects into our solar system regularly, and we simply have not understood the source. Either way, this is why science matters. Discoveries like this challenge the idea that experts already know the answers. Sometimes the universe reminds us to think twice.
Dr. Avi Loeb explained that 3i Atlas has undergone several notable developments recently that doesn't fit into the pattern of comets, and now again, on November 5, we got a new anomaly. It passed perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, on October 29th at a distance of about 203 million kilometers. At that point, it was receiving roughly 770 watts of solar radiation per square meter, its greatest heating along its path. Around the same time, various solar observatories observed the object becoming significantly brighter, by about a factor of five, even though it was not visible from Earth due to our position on the opposite side of the Sun. What stood out even more was that the object became bluer than the sun. Natural comets generally appear redder, because they release dust and because their surfaces are cooler, so this color shift is unusual. In addition, the trajectory of 3i Atlas deviated from what gravitational forces alone would predict. This indicates a non-gravitational acceleration. If this acceleration is caused by natural evaporation, then the object must have lost at least 10% of its mass, possibly closer to 20% in gas. If that were the case, there should now be a substantial cloud of gas and dust trailing it, forming a clear cometary tail pushed away from the sun by solar radiation and wind. There were already several anomalies attracting attention. Its estimated mass appears to be roughly a million times larger than the first known interstellar object, Oumuamua. Its travel path lies in the plane of the planets, as though its trajectory were intentionally aligned. It releases far more nickel than iron, something that in nature is rare, but common in certain industrial nickel alloy production. It exhibited unusual polarization signatures, and it arrived from nearly the same region of the sky as the famous unexplained 1977 WOW radio signal. None of these observations on their own are conclusive, but together they raise questions worth investigating. More data will come soon. The object reaches its closest approach to Earth on December 19th, six days before Christmas. The hope is that its unusual characteristics turn out to have natural explanations, and that it simply passes by without incident. But because the implications would be profound if an interstellar object were technological in origin, it is reasonable to treat the situation with scientific curiosity rather than dismissal. There is currently no rocket on Earth fast enough to intercept 3i Atlas, especially given its speed, which is roughly three times faster than our fastest spacecraft, and its size, which is significantly larger than vehicles such as Starship. If the object were technological and hostile, we would indeed have little capability to respond. However, if such objects are ever confirmed to be artificial, the appropriate response would be to approach with humility, recognizing the possibility of older, more advanced civilizations, and to prepare cooperative or defensive systems for the future. For now, the scientific approach is to gather more data, remain open to all possibilities, avoid speculation without evidence, and focus on understanding what the observations are telling us. The coming weeks will be increasingly important in determining the true nature of 3i Atlas. This isn't the first time 3i Atlas has defied expectations. Ever since its discovery, this cosmic wanderer has been ticking off an uncanny list of anomalies. A backwards path. Unlike ordinary comets, 3i Atlas is moving against the flow. It's on a retrograde, backwards, yet bizarrely aligned within 5 degrees of the planet's orbital plane. The odds of such precise alignment by chance? A mere 0.2%. Coincidence or a calculated approach? Perfect timing. Its arrival was almost too perfect. 3i Atlas swooped into the inner solar system on a trajectory that brought it alarmingly close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Yet at the very moment it passed closest to the Sun, its perihelion, Earth was on the wrong side, blinding our telescopes with sunlight. It's as if the object choreographed its timing to slip by unnoticed. The probability of this perfect schedule happening naturally? Around 0.05%, practically zero. Extreme size and speed. This interstellar visitor is a giant. Estimates suggest its nucleus could be on the order of 5 kilometers across, making it about a million times more massive than the famed Oumuamua, our first known interstellar object, and a thousand times more massive than Comet 2i Borisov. Yet it's racing faster than both.
Such an oversized high-speed combo is incredibly rare, probability less than 0.1% in the realm of natural comets. It's as if 3i Atlas was built for speed and durability far beyond a typical dirty snowball from space. Strange composition. The chemistry of 3i Atlas is outright bizarre. When scientists analyzed its gas cloud, they found it packed with nickel, far more nickel relative to iron than any comet we know. In fact, the ratio of nickel to cyanide gas was off the charts, reminiscent of industrially produced nickel alloys rather than primordial comet dust. Even stranger, this comet seems extremely dry, only about 4% water by mass in its vapor, whereas ordinary comets are mostly water ice. A comet without water, loaded with metals common in machinery, what does that suggest? Unprecedented polarization. Shine light on 3i Atlas and it does something no comet has done before. The light scattering off its dust is polarized in an extreme negative direction, meaning the orientation of light waves is flipped in a way we haven't seen in any other comet. Even 2i Borisov didn't do this. Such optical behavior is so peculiar, it has less than a 1% chance of occurring by random comet properties. It's another subtle clue that something about this object's material or surface is fundamentally different. The WOW connection. Perhaps the eeriest fact of all, 3i Atlas came from nearly the same direction as the legendary WOW radio signal. The WOW signal was a mysterious burst of radio waves detected in 1977, suspected by some to be a sign of extraterrestrial intelligence. Now, this interstellar object entered our solar system from a spot in the sky within just 9 degrees of that signal source. The chance of that alignment is only about 0.6%. It could be coincidence, or it could be a message finally arriving on our doorstep. Unbelievable brightness! As 3i Atlas neared the sun, instead of disintegrating like a normal comet, it put on a show. It brightened faster than any known comet as it approached perihelion, flaring in brilliance as if powered by something more than sunlight. Even the color of its light shifted, turning noticeably bluer than our sun, an unusual hue for a comet's glow. A comet that gets bluer and intensely brighter near the sun is virtually unheard of, adding yet another puzzle piece to the enigma. Phantom push. And then there's the matter of movement. Astronomers tracking 3i Atlas realized it wasn't exactly where gravity alone predicted it to be. Something was pushing it. In technical terms, 3i Atlas exhibited a non-gravitational acceleration, an extra thrust as if it had engines or was venting large amounts of gas. In theory, a comet can get a push from outgassing, like a rocket effect, but to account for the trajectory change observed, 3i Atlas would have had to blow off at least 13% of its entire mass during its solar flyby. That's an enormous amount, billions of tons, which should have produced a gigantic, obvious tail of debris. Yet, as we saw in those November images, no such tail exists. It's as if 3i Atlas somehow accelerated without any visible exhaust. For a natural comet, that makes no sense at all. Each of these bizarre traits on its own might be dismissed as a fluke, but all of them together? The odds of one object randomly ticking every one of these anomaly boxes are astronomically small, on the order of 1 in 10 quadrillion, 10 to the 16. In other words, essentially impossible by mere chance. So, what does this all mean? To put it plainly, something is different about 3i Atlas. The glaring question is why? Why would an interstellar comet behave in such an improbable, rule-breaking way? Some scientists are beginning to wonder if these coincidences are not coincidences at all. Could 3i Atlas be more than just a comet, perhaps an interstellar probe or a craft disguised as a comet? The idea sounds like science fiction, even conspiracy. Yet the data is there, whispering that we shouldn't dismiss the possibility.
When an object moves like a comet, thanks to non-gravitational acceleration, but looks nothing like one, no tail, no dust signature, that's not a mere oddity, it's a signal. The term comet becomes insufficient, not because the data is weak, but because the category is too narrow. We're now at the stage where how humanity classifies the unknown matters as much as what is observed. It reminds us of a larger question. If an intelligence arrives, or a mechanism arrives, that expects more than a single definition of object, are we ready? For curious minds, the threshold is not just seeing the anomaly, but deciding what we call it.